Okay, everybody, this is Glenn Candy with Project.Insearch.com, and today I'm with Gene Tatum, who has a new network called AllNews.Network. He's a former CIA operative. He has a lot of contacts. We've got some breaking news, and we need to get this out everywhere. This is super important. Gene, tell him, what, tell him the story and tell him how you found out about it. Well, as a, as a former special operations pilot and having taskings come out of McDill, um, I have friends at McDill Air Force Base where Special Operations Command is based. Sunday evening, I received a call from some friends there uh, wanting to meet with lunch, m meet with me for lunch. And yesterday, I was able to cut away and have lunch with them. Uh, during the lunch, they um, entrusted me with this information, folks. They received Department of Defense tasking for 3,000 ground troops plus support personnel. Uh, and that tasking was for Syria. So you can see there, there's an issue there, uh, looking at boots on the ground. But more than that, here's their point. They're to be embedded with uh, the Syrian opposition forces. We all know that Russia is currently bombing a lot of the Syrian opposition forces, along with ISIS and Al-Qaeda and, and the Free Syrian Army, whoever those guys are. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you know to be embedded with them they feel that uh, all they're all they are are pawns being used um for a new false flag operation and i say false flag maybe it's not a false flag but if they're killed while they're in at, through bombing raids of the russians uh while with these uh syrian opposition forces then it'll enrage the american people and allow this president and this government uh, to wage war against the Russians. Wow. They're afraid that they're being used as pawns simply for that. And, and by doing so, let, let me explain something. You know, the Syrian uh, opposition forces that are being bombed, uh, a lot of Syrian rebels are receiving U.S. and allied arms, but they're not using them as they were intended to be used. In many cases, they're selling them to ISIS, they're selling them to Al-Qaeda, uh, and the Free Syrian Army, Russia has asked for locations of the Free Syrian Army so that they don't bomb them because they're supposedly uh, the good guys for the United States, but the United States won't give any location. They're feeling, Russia is feeling as if, and, and a lot of others are feeling as if this Free Syrian Army doesn't exist. It's a straw man used to dump hundreds of millions of dollars in arms uh, into a black budget. Wow. Gene, that's the thing is, like you said, they're, they're basically using our guys now as pawns. And, and you're right, they will not share any information. It's like they've been caught red-handed and all Russia is doing like, hey, you know, tell us where these FSA, Free Syrian Army guys are. It's like we can't find any. They're just as rare as a unicorn, apparently. And, and we can't, you know, we, I mean, we won't cooperate with them on anything. And it's like, we, do, we definitely don't need our guys over there. I mean, let Russia do the work for once. They're doing better than we did for, what, over a year now? And it's like those whole things coming apart. And if you remember when they wanted to start the war and say that Assad, you know, gassed his own people and everything, it was only because of the alternative media that got the truth out there that that was stopped. So what can you tell the American people that they need to do to get this word out across the nation and across the world so we can get ahead of this thing and, and foil these plans. They need to contact, I, I would say contact your local radio station. Contact your local TV station. Tell them to look at this. You know, there's so much, uh, so many indicators that this is a bunch of crap that the United States is trying to feed the American people. There's just too many indicators. And you have to work by indicators when you're dealing with these guys. Uh, Look, let's look at Kuwait. Re remember the girl that came in and, and uh, gave the testimony to Congress that uh, uh, that the Iraqis were coming in and stealing babies out of Kuwait? Right. She was the ambassador, U.S. ambassador to Kuwait, or uh, Kuwaiti ambassador to the U.S.'s daughter. <laughs> and she, she was act actually trained, and it's public knowledge now, that she was trained in acting so that she could feed this lie to Congress. This is this. These are the people that are representing us, folks, and we need to get down on them, and we need to get down hard, and we need to get down fast. Otherwise, we're going to be in a new war, 
And that's exactly what this president is hoping for, because then his, his uh, future is pretty well set with all the monies that will be made. Absolutely. And, you know, that's a great idea is contact the media. You know, we know that most of them are scum, but there's some good ones that just aren't awake yet. So let's let's get out there and let's, you know, email them, call them, try to get on live radio shows, you know, so they can't. And and if you have to just lie about what you're going to talk about or whatever, just to get on the air live and bring this issue up, you know, and bring them to all news network. And what's the best way to find this article is it just uh, liar, liar, pants on fire? Search for that. Obama sends U.S. ground troops to Syria. Is that... Just stick that in Google. Uh, liar, liar, pants on fire, all news network, and you'll find it. It's allnews.network, no.com, no.net, no.nothing, just allnews.network, and it's the leading article, and it'll be the leading article for several days. Okay, that's that's great, uh, Gene. Well, I just want to ask your opinion real quick, and then we'll end this because I want to get it up and out today since it's so important. What's your opinion on Trump, and do you think that, you know, is this, are they just going to screw him out of the presidency? I mean, what are you, have you heard anything about what's going to happen between him and Hillary? I mean, I already see that they're trying to say, oh, look, Ben Carson's ahead of Trump, which I don't believe at all. But what's your, just your feeling on Trump and, and this election? Well, first of all, Trump's biggest uh, obstacle is getting the the uh, getting the position to represent the Republicans, and and you know that's going to be a, a huge, huge obstacle for him, right. only because of the way that that's done. You know, it it can it can be there can be so much fraud in choosing your representative right. for the presidential election. Uh, and then beyond that, we can look at things beyond that. But his first big obstacle is getting beyond the Republican Party, uh, the fraudsters themselves, because they they can they can will and have uh, padded their choice. Right. Do you feel like just talking to people, uh, your friends and things in the military? Do you, do you feel that they are waking up more in the last five years than? Ever, or do you think that there's still so many of them asleep that we've got a serious issue? What do you? What's your thoughts on that? The young guys coming in, you know, the the, the deal is the recruiting command uh, has been given orders to bring in uh, numbnuts for soldiers. They don't want <laughs> they don't want patriotic men coming in. They just want uh, some some of the mediocres coming in that uh, are exactly that mediocre or less. Um, even my son was a special operations instructor, and he left because of the mediocrity of what was being brought in and the rules of not being able to uh, stress the new recruits. So, so it's, it's just a whole regime change and, and change in the type of environment putting into the military. As you move through ranks in the military, you become more and more aware of uh, what's going on around you. And uh, so this is what's happening. You know, these guys have been there for a while. Uh, they're they're not wanting to put up with things because they see it. I mean, they're they're military intelligence. They're the, they're the ones uh, running intelligence for uh, for special operations command, and that's their boys they're putting out there, and they're seeing exactly how they're being used as pawns. <clears throat> right. Well, we can only hope that everybody gets out there and gets active because we, you know, we're at a very crossroads here, and we cannot allow Hillary Clinton. To, to be a president, I, I can't imagine looking at her face for four years, uh, let alone eight. I mean, this is this is outrageous. I mean, I think everybody, you know, I was I was happy to see that everybody rebuked Bush. I mean, if Bush gets a nomination, you know, this country is completely a fraud. That guy is a joke. But but for the Democrats to still support Hillary, and who knows if it's even true? I mean, everything's so fake. All the polls are fake. And of course, they put up. Sanders next to her, I mean, that just to make her look better, you know. So, I mean, I just can't imagine. We've got to, we've all got to take action. We've got to get this very critical information that Gene Tatum's just given you out to everybody. They want to basically sacrifice 3,000 of our troops and put them in harm's way for no reason other than to start World War III. And we've got to stop it. So I, I appreciate it, Gene. And, uh, Everybody go over to allnews.network for the story. 
Liar, liar, pants on fire, U.S. ground troops to Syria. Google that and you'll find it. Thanks, Gene. I appreciate it. And we'll get this story out as soon as possible. You're welcome, Glenn. Bye-bye, folks.